This is Courage Unlimited, and I am your host, Chad Ikes. I have another topic, one of so many that's usually running through my head. There's, and right now, this is this is actually a great time to try to be a uh, podcaster or to, to do these videos and stuff because of so much craziness going on in the world right now. Um, there's just so much to talk about. Every day I think of something I could do a video on. I'm just still working to get to where I have time to do that. Um, I mean, how great would that be to get up every morning and have your breakfast and shoot a couple videos and uh, get some thoughts out in the world? And try to make people start using their minds instead of their emotions. And yeah, just become better people. Better courageous place. That's my goal here. So today, what I want to talk about is taxing the rich. And specifically, uh, the California, the proposed California exit tax. Now, whether or not this California exit tax goes through is still to be, still to be voted on. But just the fact that that something this ridiculous was actually proposed is insane to me. Absolutely insane. Um, and I know there's there, there there's no matter what you say, no matter what you do, there's going to be people that are against what you think. This is part of human nature. It's part of the world, part of society. And that's fine because I honestly don't care. If you don't agree with me, that's cool. But if you want to sit down and talk with me and discuss it, man, let's do it. I'm all for it. So I know that when I say this next statement, people are going to be like, that's ridiculous. That's not, that's, that's overcompensating and that's this and that's that. And that, that's ridiculous. To charge people to leave your state is a very communist type philosophy oh yeah you can leave our state but you're going to pay us to leave our state what's california going to build a wall next to keep people in come on man this is crazy this is crazy how are people not talking more about this and how crazy this is oh well it's only for the rich okay well great that brings us to the tax the rich What a dumb idea. I suppose maybe I shouldn't say that that is a dumb idea. It's a dumb idea to me. Oh, so much, so much, so much, so much. So I want to quote something that Biden just recently said um, when he was talking about taxes and what he's, what he's going to do in this next year. Um, and he said, we need, to, we need to reward hard work, not wealth. Okay, what the hell does that even mean? Are you saying that the, the wealthy are, are not hard workers? Are you saying they're lazy? Are you saying that because they have money, they don't deserve a break, but people of lower incomes do deserve a break? You know, we have all this racism and racist equality and social equality, and you have all this crap going on right now. Can you not see? It doesn't matter if you have money or don't have money. It should be the same. And it actually is the same. (sighs) Taxing the rich is punishing people that have money. Why should they be punished? Because they have money. How many people how many people out there right now watching this have their own companies or have started their own companies or have tried to run their own companies? If you have a company, you put probably a lot of what you have at risk. You went out there and you probably worked a shit ton of hours. You took the responsibility of owning a business, of insuring yourself, of insuring that business, of doing all the jumping through all the hoops that the governments, mostly the state governments, put you through in order to have that business. You take on the responsibility of your employees and making sure they get paid. It is not easy to start a company, and it takes a lot of responsibility, and it takes a lot of work, and it takes a ton of hard work. It takes a lot of time. And people, for some reason, tend to not look at that. 
People do that. They should make more of the money. They're the ones that put up the risk. They're the ones that did all the work. And if that company is successful and there's a point where they don't have to work as hard and they can work less and they can hire other people to run their company, well, they earned that. And now you want to punish them for all that hard work? No, well, well, no, wait a minute. He, Biden was saying reward hard work, not wealth. Well, these people worked hard to get their wealth. So why do you want to punish them? It doesn't make sense. They're assuming that wealth comes easy and that those people didn't work for it. And yes, there are cases of that. But if you look up the statistics, most millionaires earned it. Okay. And then you go, oh, well, the California wealth tax is only for people that have $30 million. Okay. So what, just because they worked and earned $30 million and were smart and got and maybe even had some luck, they should be now punished where they should pay a tax that other people don't? This is, this is, this is ridiculous. This is America. We should reward success. You shouldn't be punished for being successful. Why should the rich pay more taxes? I, you know, if you work at McDonald's and you're 40 years old, you made the choice to have an entry-level job for your whole career. Why should you get a break? How are you working hard because you stayed at McDonald's? I mean, Biden, we reward hard work. Hard work is its own reward. And if you want to be successful, hard work and success are two different things. If you want to be successful, that takes a different kind of hard work. If, you're, if your goal is to dig ditches, that was your goal. That was your choice. You should be trying to move up in that company and become the superintendent where you're not in the hole, but you're telling the people in the hole what to dig. You know, there's different kinds of hard work. Working physically hard and stupid shouldn't necessarily be rewarded in my mind. Working hard and intelligent should be rewarded. And usually it's rewarded by moving up, by starting your own company, by being successful. Judging this whole tax thing is insane to me. And then people want to go, oh, the rich, we need to tax the rich. They need to pay their fair share. Well, if you actually look at the tax brackets and the way the tax system is set up in America, in the United States, it actually is pretty fair. Um, I admit there was a point in my life where I didn't necessarily think it was fair until I actually started researching it. And I wanted to have the knowledge to back my ideas. So I did research it. And people don't understand these tax brackets. Um, I make... Right now, it's with having my own business and COVID, it's, it's really weird. Let's say the best year of my life was probably 60000 when I was competing and I had sponsors and stuff. And I poured a bunch of that money back into competing. Um, and I was still working full time as well at that time. So let's say you take a person that makes $60,000 and you take a person that makes $30 million a year. Well, if you look at the tax brackets, me and him both pay the same on the first $10,000 we make. We both pay the same on the first, I don't know what the tax brackets are. I'm just ma right off the top of my head. The first $30,000 or the next, you know, the next $20,000 up to $30,000, we pay the same amount of tax. Then on up to fifty thousand, we pay the same amount of tax. On up to sixty thousand, my sixty thousand and his sixty thousand, we pay the exact same amount of tax. Now, for each bracket that he earns above that, he's going to gradually pay more and more and more and more money. I don't necessarily disagree, or I don't necessarily agree with that. But if I want to make thirty million, I'm going to pay the same tax that he pays. Okay. So in all reality, it's fair. If you want to work at McDonald's and this is all the money you're going to make, you, we're both going to be in the same tax bracket. Okay? Now, the difference in that is going to be the write-offs. But because these people make less, if you only make $20,000, you're not really going to pay that amount of tax that's in the tax bracket. You're going to have certain write-offs that's going to knock you down. Are you know your uh, your standard write-offs like if you're single, single, married, whatever, those deductions. And because you don't make any money, there's a lot of there's a lot of um, 
other things you can file for tax income credits and all that other junk that's going to keep knocking your taxes down. So you're if you make 10 or $20,000 a year, you're going to pay hardly any money in taxes. Um, percentage wise and actual money wise. Now, if you make $20,000 and you have three kids and a wife that doesn't work, you're going to get money back. Literally, you are going to make money because of taxes. And I know for a fact that this happens and I've seen it done. I had a I had a union job at one point and I had a buddy and we would look at each other's checks and I'm like, "How do you how are your checks more when we're working the same hours?" Well, it was the taxes. And then at the end of the year, I owed money. I paid more in than him and I owed money at the end of the year. Uh, it was only a couple hundred bucks. He got thousands of dollars back. So he actually got more money back than he paid in. Thousands more than he paid in. So taxes actually made him money. I mean, to me, at the very least, it should be zero. You, you, don't, you don't make no money, you're this. You don't get money back. You don't pay in, you don't get money back. But people actually get money back. So those rich people that you're trying to tax more are giving money to other people. And then, now the people go, oh, hey, but the rich have all the loopholes in the tax brackets. Show me, show me, where in the tax laws, show me one single tax law that says the ri- only the rich can use this. You have to make this much amount of money to use this write-off. There isn't any. You won't find it. The difference is the rich people earned more money, so they have more money that they can invest and utilize the the tax deductions. But everybody has those same tax deductions. They're available to everyone. If you make $20,000 a year and you want to live on 99 cent cans of Nally, chili, which I have done before, and you want to put half of that $20,000 and invest half of that $20,000, Bam, there you go. Huge tax write-off. The law is the same. The law doesn't differentiate how much money you actually make. So please stop saying that the rich need to pay their fair share. The rich are paying their fair share. Now personally, I think all this crap should be a flat tax. Bam, done. Everybody pays this percent. End of story. But I also, on the other hand, do believe in trickle-down economics. If you give rich people a reason to spend more money, they will spend more money. If not, they're going to go somewhere else. Such as, now let's go back to um, the California tax laws. And and they're with this with this exit proposal. I can't man, I can't remember the number, but they're bumping all the taxes up. And what's happening, there's a mass exit out of California. And a lot of the people leaving that state are the rich people. Because they're going, listen, I'm losing hundreds of thousands of dollars a year by paying into these taxes. And then the government is, they're not, how is that, how is that state broke? You're mismanaging the money. And because the government is mismanaging the money, they want the people to pay. And then they're feeding the poorer people or the lower income people this line of crap that the rich need to pay their fair share. They are paying their fair share. If you don't like it, get rich. Go start a company. Get rich and I'll bet you money when you make $30 million, you're going to do the same thing that those rich people are doing. You're going to leave California because you don't want to give California your money. Not to mention... All of these people in the government that are increasing all these tax laws, they're the ones, they're rich. The the lower income and poor people are listening to governors and senators. These are people that make, I can't remember, uh, I think it's around $150,000 uh, a year for being a congressman or senator, somewhere in there. Yet they're worth millions of dollars. The vast majority of them are worth millions Where the hell did all that other money come from? And if they feel like the rich aren't paying their fair share, then why aren't they paying more? 
they're going to raise all these other people's taxes and they're going to find loopholes. Or they're going to vote themselves other shit, just like the congressmen that can vote themselves raises. You know, it's funny how the poor people and low-income people are listening to the crap that these rich people are spewing to them. These rich politicians, I should say, not the rich people, the rich politicians. Like, those are the rich that are telling you these lies and this crap. And if you don't believe me, and don't take my word for it, go look up the tax laws. Look them up. Everything I've told you, I've looked up, and it's true. And quite honestly, the tax laws are fair. But this is America. Like, the, my biggest problem with all this is America. Like, our country was based on freedom and hard work, and you have that choice. Nobody is holding anyone down in this country. Yeah, I'm lower middle class. I would like to be upper middle class. I would like to be putting more money into a retirement so someday I can retire. Well, you know, I made some choices in my life. Maybe I didn't make the best choices. Maybe I put too much money into my power or too much effort and time and money into my powerlifting career. But that's something I wanted to do. Those were my choices that I made. I didn't finish college. That was my choice. Um, granted, it was hard to, I was working full time and doing school and track and it was just killing me. But I could have stayed. I could have figured out a way to get it done. Now, I'm, I'm building, I have one small business, I'm building other businesses, I'm trying to make the money. But I'm trying to do it in a way that I'm comfortable and that I can help other people. This is America, I have that choice. Nobody's holding me down, nobody's going, Chad, we're only going to let you be middle class. We're only going to let you get this high. No, the rich aren't holding me down going, Chad, you can't start a company, we don't want you doing this. No one, the government's not doing that either. No one is holding me down. This is America. This is freedom. We should be going, hey, man, you're successful. You made $100 million. That's awesome. Like, can I get a pointer or two? Like, you know, and, and, and it's, it's just, this is nuts to me. Where, where have we gone so off track as a country that we think it's bad people are rich and successful? And, and what happened to us looking up to those people and going, I want to be like that. I want to reach that. What, what can I learn from those people? Instead, we're all, the, this whole country is full of a bunch of ships, okay? And they're trying to sink all the other ships so that they can stay above them. Instead of going, hey, listen, you are successful. How can you be successful? How can I, can I be successful? And then when I get successful, can I help someone else be successful? And, and raising the tide so all the ships go up. I don't understand this, the, the, what's going on in this country and this whole um, not taking responsibility for our actions. Instead, instead of taking responsibility for our actions and where we're at in life, we're trying to bring everyone down that was more successful than us. I don't get it. I don't get it. If I would have taken that route in my powerlifting, I would have never been one of the best powerlifters in history. I would have been in the gym and I would have, oh, that guy's on drugs. Well, that guy has genetics. Well, that guy has a coach. Well, that guy has more money, so he has more time. Blah, 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 bullshit, crying, whining. People, wake up. I understand if you're emotionally sad. I understand if you're depressed. I understand if you're frustrated. Don't make judgments based on those feelings. Accept those feelings, but then use your logic, use your intelligence, use your mind to see what's really going on. No one is holding you back. Nobody's putting a boot on you. Nobody's holding you down. If you're not successful, it's because you didn't choose to be successful. Now, granted, there's luck. There's luck in everything. That's life. We get dealt a hand. How are we going to play it? We can't choose the hand that we're dealt, but we can choose how we're going to play it. So for some people, they may have been born with a rich daddy that said, hey, 
Here's a million bucks. Start your life off a little easier. Well, you know what? The dad made the money. The dad put the sacrifice in, and what he chooses to do with his money is his own responsibility. If he wants to give his son a leg up, then fine. Damn, dude, I'm jealous. I wish my dad would have given me a million bucks. But I'm not going to try to rip the guy down. You know, he could have blew through the million bucks. He could have started smoking heroin and crack and blew right through it. But he didn't. He said, oh, hey, I got a, I got a million dollar opportunity here. Let's see what I can do with it. And maybe he became successful. Good for him. Yeah, I wish it was me, but good for him. I'm not going to rip the guy down. You know, and then like I do, like I've done in powerlifting because I can relate to life and blah, 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 blah. I was successful in lifting. I was successful when I shouldn't have been successful. I hit tons and tons of roadblocks on my journey. That whole time and continuing even, even well after my, my best days were in or my strongest days were 2008, 2009-ish. This whole time, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to help people. I'm trying to help them avoid the roadblocks that I have hit and to be more successful. I'm trying to pass on the knowledge that I learned so other people can be more successful. And I'm hoping that that comes back to me a little bit at some point as well. But that's what we should be doing. We should be going, hey, here's here's where I'm at and and... Forget my emotions. What's the reality of this situation? How can I grow from here? And then I'm going to look to all the people that are successful and try to get pointers. Try to see what they did. Try to see their journey to help my journey. And then when you do get to the top, pull some other people up with you. Like, I'm so sick of all the social justice warriors out there that are going, oh, the poor, the poor... The poor Mexicans or the poor blacks or the poor this or the poor that or the women are not getting paid the same or this and that. But but they all live in big ass houses and they drive fancy ass cars and they ain't giving none of their money to nobody. They ain't starting a business. If you think women don't make enough money and you're successful, then start a business and hire more women and pay them more money. If you think the black man is held down and he has no chance of being successful, but you have access to money? Hell, if you're upper middle class and you feel that way, start a company and hire black men. And pay them what you think they should be paid. You know, put your actions, your money, and and everything where your words are. I am at 23 minutes of video... As you can tell, this stuff is important to me. It's exciting to me. Um, I like talking about it. I want people to start thinking. I want people to comment back to me. I want to learn as much as I can learn and be a positive part of this world. I want people to be courageous enough to do what's right and to, to get past their emotions and to see the truth and the reality and not just play I'm going to I'm going to say this cuz I feel bad or I'm going to say I'm for this when I'm really not. Like have the nuts and the courage to 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 live by your actions and your thoughts and live by the principles that you have and spend the time to think about your principles and morals to be and be that person. Please like this channel, subscribe to this channel, comment on this channel, share this channel. Come on I, I, I can't do this alone. I need your guys' help, and I admit it. We Together, let's raise the tide. Let's, let's change the direction this society is going, and let's become a positive society that lifts everyone up. Guys, I'm out of here. I'm going to let you go. Ugh. All right. I'm out.